<laughs> Hello YouTubers, Big Mike here. We're going to uh, tackle drum brakes today. And as you can see, it's a mechanic marvel. <laughs> um, what you're going to have is you're going to have retaining clips here held in with springs on either side. You have an adjuster here, a spring right here that's going to hold the brake shoes together. And these two springs here which retain tension. This is your cylinder and we have a crossbar here with a spring on it now. There are some tools we're going to need for this. This right here helps get these off, these springs off. So you'll have little teeth in them. Help grip that washer so you can spin it to break them free. Now we're also going to need this strange looking tool here to undo these top springs. Now you can do it with screwdrivers and pliers, but it's a little dangerous. Remember, the springs hold a lot of tension and they will pop off and at least with these tools it helps cut down on that you also have this tool here help break the springs off and we'll just walk you through it and let you see what you think now when taking the top springs off I like to use this tool here it makes life a little easier Make sure that little lip is in there. Spin it. Pull it back. Alright. Same thing with this one. Get that in there. Spin it. Pull it back. Now you see how that holds the spring? Now if you're doing with a screwdriver, Gonna have a tendency to slide down the shaft on you. So, for a little bit of money, you know, drum brake tools are pretty well priceless if you're gonna be changing these yourself all the time. And here we go with the springs. Now, take this, hold, put your hand in the back to hold the pin, push in, rotate. And you see it all comes out pretty cut and dry I don't know if you can see inside there there's a little slot and a little divot for this pin to hold in and this is what the pin looks like on the head now with both pins out these springs off you pull the brake shoes off the top and lower this whole assembly. Now here's that bar I was talking about. It's in the back. Spring goes towards the front. It's part of your emergency brake cable. Up here is the mesh. There's the uh, cylinder. These little pins in here push outward, forcing the brakes to push towards the drum. You know, we'll go in here, we'll spray it out, we'll clean all garbage out in here, the rust, brake dust, the grease and everything. And we'll show you the new brakes and the kits and everything. Alright guys, here we are at this point. Uh, clean it off. Now, I recommend highly that you get yourself a brand new spring kit with all your clips. And if you need it, a whole new adjuster kit with the cables not necessary adjuster kits like 14 bucks a spring kit is about seven dollars now spring kits for both sides the adjuster kit is 14 for each side um, there is a left and a right to this for this part here the teeth only face a certain direction so threaded side come out only a certain way and a little arm will 
catch on this and tighten it out as needed. Now, it's the first time you're ever doing this on your, on your own, you might want to get a whole new kit. just makes life a lot easier. Nothing worse than when you get the truck all apart and you don't have, you have broken springs and everything, so it just makes life easier. Now, there's a little pin here. You're going to have to press in with a vise or you can use channel locks if your hands are strong enough or you can kind of beat it in. It will stick out the other side here. It's usually if you get a big enough nut or socket, you can use it as kind of like an anvil so you can drive it through. This spring slips over. Long part here, hook part up front. So what's going to happen is, is this piece here is going to click in and then you're going to put this spring around it and hook it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so that's what it looks like with that spring on there. You can see it go up and down and that's what will hit that adjuster. Now, there's another spring. It's going to clip in here. And it's going to go to the other brake shoe. Look a note, shorter pad always goes towards the front of the car. It really sucks when you get this whole thing together and you realize the pads are on wrong. stick our adjuster in. Like so. Hook our other spring in. Look something like that. Now this here what your Merton, what your adjuster spring is going to ride on. Goes in this top hole and then this spring so it's going to hold that in place. Now the cable itself is going to hook into the adjuster So, and this cable rides along here and up to the top. And then, as you hit your brakes, that cable will pull this arm as needed. And you can ride along. So, let's get the brake shoes up onto the truck. Okay, this here is for the emergency brake cable, which there's a little slot. Towards the top of the back brake shoe that clicks into. All in all, that clicks right up into there. Like this. You're going to put your pin through the back hole. washer, stick it over there, and 
click it and turn it till the pin matches up on all right guys here we go we got the other clip on adjuster cable runs up around spring goes around bar goes in between the center I'm going to show you spring goes in here I'm getting it up to there take this tool clip it on And that's the one, two, three of drum brakes. Now I'll film myself doing the other side after I get the drum and the wheel back on and show this whole process again. All right, guys, we're gonna try to run through this with a different angle. Flip. Spring. Spring. Collapse out. Now here's a good reason why I tell you to get new adjuster parts. See this one broke. Alright guys, one more time for you. Here's your adjuster. Adjusting arm, spring on air, rivet, adjuster link, spring. And then we'll do the same thing, we'll fold it off and push it on. Okay, here we go. Hole through the back. Put our pin. And it's going to come out there. We're spraying our washer. Take our tool. through, turn it, it's really important you make sure it gets locked in that little divot that's in there, it's going to pop out on you, so we'll get the pin in that side, as well, and drape that over for now. Pin through. Spring your washer.
my gosh, for this part here, we're going to get the cable around here on the back here. Now, if you pull this out and push up, it'll give you some slack in your cable so you can get that going. Now, with this here, Take the tool, link it on there, smack it down. Get this side back on. Now we can put the drum on, hold the tire back on, and there's your back brake, guys. Okay, two clips, your adjuster, adjusting arm and spring. Tends to spring down here, adjust your cable, riding around the pivot guide, your two springs, and that's it. And then you have your arm, spacer arm in the back. And those, this is drum brakes.